sitting at home. Guess call us Welcome back to Video Bros. But, um... At one point, I one day I do want to play the Bayonetta games, because I really love those games. I do. But you know what I'm thinking? I own both of them. You so. know what I'm thinking, though? What? For this, um, for this game, for Metro Prime 4. Yeah. If they're going the same route, if, say if, say if they do cutscene from Mario, oh. Odyssey, and they have, and they can make him talk, for any reason, like they did with Breath of the Wild, you know what though? Cutscenes and talking in this game need to be a thing. You, well, that's kind of weird because Metro Prime Three actually had cutscenes and actual voice acting and talking. Oh well, then I I don't know my shit then. <laughs> <laughs> Other M was the same way, but worse. Okay, so can I just like put all the cutscenes with a retarded voice on it <laughs> from Other M and we ever played? Wow, that dropped to like 14 FPS right there. Eh. I'm not joking. It actually I know. said 14. It's, it's better than what the Wii, what, what you get on a GameCube, though. I'll tell you that. Well, that is true. We can't uh, break this yet, I don't think. I think you need a missile. Or not. Oh, wait, no. You get a missile from it, though. Now we actually have missiles again. Um, y You know what would be probably such a short series also if you did this? Oh, shit. Oh, what the fuck? These are those dark splinters I mentioned. Okay. The darkest winter I've ever seen was Dark, in Bob. Darkling possessed insectoid predator. The alien symbiote within the splinter augments its strength and durability. Threat level raised. Target is host to a parasitic bioform. The presence of the parasitic bite increases target's overall combat threat level. Concentrated weapons fire will damage the target. Um, at one point, and it probably would, my guess is probably be like a 10 to 14, maybe 15 part series, as if we played Metroid Confrontation. I don't know about that, though. Because that's a very... I, I, I want to play Rope Dawn. Well, that would be a pretty long series, because the map system in the game doesn't really help much at all. It's basically how Metroid 1 is with... Uh, but you but you play as Samson Mother, right? Wait, what? In Rogue Dawn? Uh, yeah, you don't play as Samus at all. Hmm. I'm sure they mention her, but the game is a fan-made prequel to the first game. So, to the entire series, otherwise. They need to make a prequel. Like, I mean, you actually mean like a Nintendo one, or no? I mean, like, like if they did it on the Switch, though, but they have to do it like if they can, if they could do it. Last night at Chow, Ang Seth starts talking about some bounty hunter and how she blew up a planet full of space pirates. That's references Metroid Prime One. I told her I didn't believe in fairy tales like that, and she took it personal. I just find it hard to believe that one person took out an entire space pirate base. That's all. But if she wants to believe in this Samus, or Bigfoot, or Santa Claus, she can. Oh, I thought you were just saying that shit. No, no, <laughs> I was not. I believe in Santa Claus. He was, a, he was a fat guy who, like, died in the middle of, like, the mall. You know what I remember someone saying once is, like, if Santa was actually real, he probably would be arrested. Because if Santa was real, he would have, he would be a fat diabetic fuck. <laughs> well, that too. But if Santa was real, I think he'd be arrested. Because people would accuse him of all the time of being a pedophile. Because think about it, it's a fat, cr creepy, however old guy, breaking into your house, leaving you presents, <laughs> having children sit on his lap once a time a year. How does that not come across as creepy? It's not, it is creepy, but you know what I thought also? I, I don't know why, I thought, I, I swear I thought it was like a couple days ago for some reason. I don't know why I was thinking this. Oh god. But, um, like, you know how Santa Claus is supposed to be nice? Yes. If, 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 he, if he tells you that you suck and you, you deserve coal, and he's telling you straight up that you deserve coal, is he being nice then? Um, like, like, I mean, he's doing his job. But is he being nice, though? When the fucking, see, they don't play, see, if you really think about ethics and all that shit, and how ethical you want to be. Oh my god. Like, you really want to fuck shit up right now. And be like... Okay. Like, Santa could be a fucking ruthless bitch if he wanted to be. Yeah. Okay, so what? I guess... I guess we can't go back to him. Just imagine this, though. Just imagine this. You're, you're sitting at home. Looking Christmas Eve. You're with, your family. You know, you're with your family right now, right? Okay. And you're drinking eggnog. Next thing you know, you find Santa Claus drinking eggnog. On Christmas Eve. But you gotta give deliver a little present. He's driving the fucking sleigh drunk right now. Are you referencing that Weird Al song? 
No, I didn't know he was drunk in that song. I thought he was just crazy because... No, I wasn't sure if he were or not. I thought he was just crazy because, you know, he had too much of it. And he, and he ate he ate all the reindeer. Oh, okay. Got up here. I was trying to remember where the fuck I had to go, but I, I just uh, figured... If we had my computer, my laptop, I could actually be playing games in 4K right now. Perfectly. You know what's funny? I, I've been seeing in comments recently and in older review Tech USA videos because of when he did a video on it a couple years back. The argument with like Mac and PC users where it's like, but but Macs don't get viruses, and he's like, yeah, okay. No, you know, you know what, you know what, you know what, you know what's true, true, and then one comedian said it said though. What? Listen. Okay, so you got to do this. I'm a guy who likes the porn, right? If you're ever gonna, if you're ever gonna surf porn on anything, surf on a Mac. Mac is like the safest computer you can get. Like you go to Pornhub, you never get a virus. Don't you mean Cornhub? Cornhub. You don't remember they did that last April? Yeah, I know. Oh my god. You know, I was, you know, what you can find on, on Pornhub, and you know, you know it's it's kind of weird that they have it on there in the first place. You need a power bomb to break this, but that's not till way later in the game. Like you know, what you find more on Pornhub than you do actual porn. What? You find game leaks on Pornhub more than you do porn. There was a video of Markiplier that got on Pornhub somehow. Yeah, they had fucking... Fallout 4 got leaked. Or Steven, Universe got, Steven, Steven Universe got leaked on Pornhub. Well, that's probably because of weird fan art people make. No, I'm no, I'm saying Steven Universe got leaked on Pornhub. Like, in one of the episodes. I believe that because of the fact that one of the characters is a lesbian, so... I'm the only one left. Managed to get out of the hive, but when I got to the ship, everyone was gone. Dead. I'm heading for that alien building we saw earlier. Maybe someone can help me there? Wait. Something's moving down there. Hello? Oh, I was trying to make that joke, but I forgot what it was. You forgot what joke you were going to do. No, I don't remember the joke, though. Like, fucking Adele. Oh, I hated these things. Remember these things from Metro Prime 1? War wasps? I hate wasps in general. Well, war wasps are worse, because they actually go out of their way to kill you. Especially from a distance. Now let me no 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 let me let me give let me ask you this, man. Oh god. This is random shit. What? If you can have if you, if you can play any video game but have a different character with their abilities in it that would work, what would you who would you put in a game? The only thing I can think of is Samus being inside Mega Man or vice versa. Um, that would actually work very well. Um, you know what I really want? I want Ninja Gaiden. I want Ryu Hayabusa. From Ninja Gaiden to be playable in Shovel Knight. You didn't want to know why? Because in Spectre Knight's campaign, you can wall kick basically like in Mario 64 or Ninja Gaiden. And it's some shit you would see in Ninja Gaiden. I'm like, why is this not a thing? Like, someone needs to make that a thing. Actually, speaking of that, I'm going to see if there's that actual cartridge for that though, because of what. As I asked before, if it would be a cartridge. What, a ROM hack of Shovel Knight where you can play as Ryu? Well, no, a cartridge of it, though. You know what's weird is, some people were confused on if Ryu from Street Fighter and Ken from Street Fighter are the Ryu and Ken that are in Ninja Gaiden, because Ryu's dad's name is Ken. It's like, how can you not think Street Fighter, but it, there's no relation. It's just a coincidence. Well, I'm waiting for it to load, because apparently there's already- I typed in Shovel Knight cartridge. Oh my god! It's like, drop below 20 FPS there. Yo, you gotta shut up the FPS though. Like that's all you that's all you think about. Well, when the screen goes so fucking slow, what are you gonna expect? That's just common sense, son. What do you, you call me son? Okay, I ran out of missiles. Alright. Okay, so I need even more missiles. Okay, that's just fucking great. You know what? I'm gonna wait for these. You know what we should have talked about in the last session also for Breath of the Wild? What? That uh, we should talk about either now or in the next session. Um, the fact that a certain British critic got flack for his review on Breath of the Wild. And this was... Oh, Jim Sterling. This was a couple of months ago. I mean, a couple of weeks ago. So. Oh, oh, guess what? I'm, I'm, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get flack for this by saying this. We should have talked about this, like, around then, though, is what I'm saying. Yeah, I know. 
I'm like, why are we talking about it this pretty late now? It's like gotten us uh, a bit late. We forgot though, but if you if you don't know, all all that happened was that Jim Sterling and I believe it. I believe it what he says too, and I don't believe that like. Breath of the Wild's great, but it's not a perfect game. In the no, sense. it's not a perfect game, but apparently you can you can take your weapon in Breath of the Wild. You can use them; they break. And apparently, I didn't I didn't know you could do this because I haven't gotten that far. But apparently, you can repair your weapons. There's I, a way to there's a way to do it apparently, but overall, most of the time you're going and using your weapon that you find, they will break. And that's that's the one thing I don't like about the game. I agree with that because no other Zelda game has weapons that break. Except for, um, if you count, like, bombs or whatnot, they break. Or, like, you lose them. Maybe you use them too much, but, um, he, Jim Sterling went on his YouTube page channel and basically said what I just said that. Well, it was not even on just on his channel, it was really just on his website. Yeah, I know, but he said, said that the weapon has been broken. And Nintendo needed to fix it. Yeah. And then people are like, "Oh, I don't care what you say. I, you're just giving hate to the game. This is the greatest game in the fucking world." Blah blah blah. This and that. And then they kept. He they almost. They had. And he got death threats because of it. He said he liked the game. Someone was even saying in a forum, and Review Tech USA called him a fucking moron for this because he's not wrong. But Review Tech USA, Rich, uh, he even said like when someone pointed out how. Oh, he gave this game a 7 out of 10, which means that he doesn't like the game. And it's like, no, you moron. It means that he likes the game, but it's flawed. If you give something a 7, it doesn't mean they think it's bad. It means it's a good game, but it has problems. I give it a, I give it a 0 out of 10. The graphics suck, but I do recommend it. <laughs> Buggy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's not okay to attack someone because they have a different opinion than you on something. It's like what social justice warriors and feminazis do. Like, I know I'm opening a can of worms by saying that, but still. It's like, oh, well, you don't respect my- you don't have the same opinion that I do, so I gotta attack you because you don't have the same opinions I do. For anyone that has that mindset, fuck you in the hole you came crawling out of. Go back to that hole, please. By the way, you know what I like that I meant to bring up earlier? What? I think we're getting up to- Wow, this lighting is fucking great. I know. Oh, we're at the Great Temple now, which is the main point you have to go back to every now and then through the game, as you advance further. Um... Area source scan complete. Okay, I'm just in here. Area source scan- Okay, I, I know that. Why do you keep telling me that? Um... I think our channel is getting up to that point where people are starting to comment more often on our videos. Well, it depends on on because we have very few comments anyway to begin with. Very few in between, but lately, as of late, we've been getting a few people commenting on our videos that we've never even seen before. That whether they haven't subscribed yet or they're just random new people. But like, I ha I didn't reply to a person earlier. Sorry, that I didn't reply to you. By the time this video is up, obviously, it will have. But someone even commented randomly earlier just saying what's up to us. It was on uh, the last video from the last session we did for Breath of the Wild, which was part 11. And I'm like, I, I'm gonna reply back to that person after. Mr. Adam. Yes. I hope the show gets cancelled. Yeah, I didn't reply to that either. I I'm not talking I, about this. If I, you if you look at our comments... I forgot to say that. Before. They were talking about Teen that. Titans. That show never going to get cancelled. Yeah, it was from the review we did with Patrick and Nick a couple years back. Listen, if you... It, let's which put, is one of our it. most viewed videos on the channel. But. We hate Teen Titans Go, and we hate it with a passion, but if you're going to fucking go and go out of your way, Cartoon Network, to be like, well, let's see where we can take this show. Um, We're going to cancel all of our programming and put on Teen Titans Go... Gumball and Cloudy with Chance of Meatball. I call Cloudy with a Chance of Shit Balls. Cloudy with a Chance of Meatball doesn't even have that many fucking episodes to begin with, and they're playing it. Wait, it doesn't? No, it came out like a fucking like a month ago. So they're just replaying the same what, like maybe five, ten episodes? Whatever the hell it is. Oh, uh, we have to, I have to fight a bunch of dark splinters. Yeah, this is a pretty crazy fight, I remember. Because you'll see why afterwards. Oh, we're cheating because we use the hack amiibo. 
I'm like, well, you know what, dude? Oh, if you, if you don't get that reference, someone, all someone just said that was like, oh, they, they were joking, though, but like. Yeah, yeah. But, I'm like, I laughed at it. Yeah, but like, we, if you watched our um, Breath of the Wild Amiibo tutorial video. Which has well over 200 views now, well over 300 views now. Every time I check, it has a lot more views than last time because I keep track on certain things with view stats on videos, like, you know, you should. See you in the next episode. Peace.